Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome to this week's Frequency Intel and welcome to the northern coast of Oregon. I am in the most spectacular place. There are seals and dolphins and penguins and all kinds of other birds um, on the, the beautiful bluffs and the cliffs behind me. And I wanted to transmit this frequency intel from this location to share the frequency of this place with all of you. So connecting into your beautiful heart and maybe closing your eyes for a minute to turn off the external world and just listen to the sounds of the the creatures, the life, the energy, the water, the rocks, the, the, the frequency of the light here. I know the camera is having a hard time focusing on me and the background at the same time. And so you can see the quality of the light that is in this cove. And to tap into that frequency and allow it to wash over and through you, coming down through your crown, down through your third eye, down through your throat, down into your heart, dispersing through your entire physiology, your emotional body, your mental body, your etheric body, and your spiritual body, and then descending down through your solar plexus, your sacral and your root and traveling down into the earth and spreading out across the earth and down deep into the core of the crystalline earth of the grid and anchoring yourself into this now moment this present now moment and i invite you if you have closed your eyes uh, to continue to listen from that place, listen from that depth of hearing your internal reality and listening for the pings of wisdom, the pings of truth that are, that are arriving as I transmit this frequency intel. And breathe, breathe this frequency in. Breathe this light into your being. And the frequency that's here that wants to play with us this week is the frequency of trust. The frequency of trust, the consciousness of trust is believing in something Believing in an experience, believing in an idea, believing in a knowing, believing in a, 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 an experience that you're having in the non-physical world without any logical reason. So the frequency of trust is also aligned with the frequency of faith. When we have faith and we trust, our internal knowing beyond our logical minds we move into the state of flow and everything in our universal reality and our external reality conspires to meet our internal world at the highest level of our consciousness meaning that we're manifesting reality from our our super conscious self at that point and so when we believe in something without any logical proof, then we are tapping into our intuition. This is another way to tap into your intuition, into your feeling body, into your emotional body. Your emotional body, your intuition coming in through your solar plexus coming in through your heart, coming in through your throat, the center core, coming in through the third eye, coming in through your crown, coming in through your root, the sensations in your root and your sacral chakra, the desire body. These are the frequencies that we can tap into 
when we are in trust and we are connecting into our intuition, this is the voice of our super conscious self, our true self, beyond the mind. So when we think of this, it is, we're, we're, we're moving away from logic, we're moving away from needing physical proof to take action, to believe in something, to listen to an, something that may not feel even doable. This is where we're moving. We are moving into creating things that have never been created before, and this requires trust. It requires faith, and the frequency of trust wants to partner with us now and have us, have us pull it in, have us align with it, have us, us uh, marinate in it, and, and take it in so deeply that we know what we know what we know and we don't need anyone to verify this and listen to our internal knowing beyond our logical mind, beyond the confines of the third dimensional reality. We're moving beyond the bounds of the fourth dimension and into the fifth dimension when we do this and magic starts to happen. And so partnering with the frequency of trust is simply allowing for what we what I shared at the very beginning what I was transmitting at the very beginning of this frequency Intel that little drop-in moment and practicing that attuning to it attuning to your ability to trust yourself beyond all logic beyond all reason gives us the access to courage the frequency of courage these all go together to help us move beyond what we have already experienced and move into what we want to be experiencing. So I'm inviting all of us into practice this this week. Be in reverence for trust this week. Even if it's a small, tiny amount that we can move into to trust. Trusting one little simple thing it will build, it will grow. The more we do it, the more we become attuned to it, the more we understand the frequency of it, the more we can tap into it, the, the bigger it gets, and the more we're able to trust when we're asked, when we're asked to trust really big things that are, are aligning for us, really big things that are showing up in our reality, big opportunities, big, big expansions for growth. And that can be growth through um, really deep shadow work or growth through really expansive light work. We can grow through both of these frequencies. We're moving out of dualistic paradigms and into unification consciousness. And this is one of the ways that we can do this. So um, I want to share with, with all of us this, this um, intelligence that has come in in many of the conversations, the experiences, the expansions, the co-creations, um, the work that I'm doing right now is what is fear? Because fear is what will stop us from trust, from trusting our intuition, from trusting our knowing, from trusting when things don't make logical sense and taking a leap of faith. That's what trust is, is gives us the opportunity, the power, the ambition, the courage, the conviction, the heart conviction to take a leap of faith. And so when we do this, we need to understand fear. There are two forms of fear on this planet. There may be more, I'm not saying that definitively, but I am, I want to convey this wisdom about fa about fear. There are two forms that will either support, one of them will support us, one will stop us in this quest to align with our divine knowing, to unlock our divine knowing. There is illusory fear, the fear that has no reason to exist, 
but it gets louder and louder and louder to stop us from growing, to stop us from expanding, to stop us from taking a leap of faith, to stop us from believing our, our intuitive knowing, our heart, our super conscious self, our consciousness within the physical vehicle that the body is so that we don't grow, so that we don't expand, so that we don't move into our, our most expanded self. So illusory fear is fear that has no reason for being. It's not, there's no logic to it. There's no reason for it existing. Authentic fear has a reason for existing. Authentic fear stops us from running through a, a green light, even though it's green, and avoiding a car that's gonna run the red light coming the other direction at, a, at an intersection. This is authentic fear. Authentic fear says, mm, you don't wanna drive down that alley, you wanna go to the left, even though it's the longer way to go around, you don't wanna go that way. It's, it's stopping us from unneeded struggle. It's stopping us from unneeded danger or experiences that, we, that are not in our soul plan for soul growth. So illusory fear is a consciousness on the planet that is a mind virus. This virus is something that we make an agreement with to be in co-creation with when we're very small and it's beneficial to help us fit into our world, to help us fit into the family structure, the societal structure that we dropped into, that we came into to learn and grow through. We make this agreement with illusory fear and it keeps us from doing things that other people disagree with. It keeps us from doing things that uh, aren't in our best interest to keep us alive. And when we are old enough to take care of ourselves, provide for ourselves, and know our own true essence, we no longer need illusory fear to partner with us to keep us safe. So illusory fear is about safety. When we are old enough to take care of ourselves, it's time to give a a beautiful thank you to illusory fear, the consciousness of illusory fear in our fields, and to say, I am no longer willing to partner with you in order to be safe. I am safe. I am old enough to take care of myself, provide for myself, and all of my basic needs are met. So there is no danger of me dying from not having my basic needs met in this moment in this time space in this reality in who i be in this moment so it is wildly important that if it feels aligned for you that you call to illusory fear and you have a conversation with it and you say thank you so much for all that you've done for me to help me navigate this wild and crazy place that i landed on earth and be in this vehicle of the body that my consciousness is having experience through. I no longer need your guidance and I am now ending the contract that I made with you to, to take over and take charge of my life and guide me. You are no longer welcome in my reality and I am escorting you out of my reality now. You do not have permission to control me any longer, illusory fear. And therefore, and so it is, because your word is your law in your reality. And so illusory fear has to stop guiding you to be afraid of your own internal knowing, afraid of your own authentic power, your own authentic expression, your own authentic gifts, your own skills, your own wisdom, your own codes, your own, your true mission. Your intuition will reveal your true mission to you when you have ended the contract with illusory fear. Your higher self, 
will reveal to you your true mission codes, your true knowing of why you're here on earth and how you're meant to contribute, to grow and expand, to have experience, to grow consciousness. Once you have ended the contract with illusory fear. So I'm inviting all of us who are ready to take this huge leap of faith and to trust that all will be well, it will be beyond well, it will be beyond what you can even imagine. Life will meet you in the most magical and unprecedented ways and new inspirations will drop in, new awarenesses will come in, new opportunities will come into your life when you take this leap of faith and you partner with trust, you merge, you align with trust, and you start to know yourself as the consciousness living inside the physical vehicle of the body, instead of believing that you are the body and that you are the history of this lifetime and any other previous reality or lifetime that you remember, connect with, know, you will start to be guided in ways that feel gentle, that feel true, that feel easy, easy, easeful. Life will become easy and it will be so easy to drop into the state of flow and stay in that state, to stay in the frequency of flow. So I'm inviting all of us to do this work this week, to utilize these transmissions, this, this beautiful channeled material that my guides so lovingly gave to me the minute I sat down to do this frequency intel. I had no prior um, awareness of what I was even gonna share with you. And this is my stepping into a new level of trust. Before, when I would do these frequency intel, I would, I would sit for hours in meditation. I would prepare, I would pray, I would set up an altar. I would use essential oils to raise my frequency. I was doing all kinds of things because I wasn't really trusting that, that I am a clear channel and that the information would be here and that I would be able to be this divine vessel of this higher wisdom, this knowledge that comes through and be able to share it with whomever it's meant to support, whomever it's meant to grow and expand, whomever it's meant to explore their own consciousness and expand into the light being that we all are to take back our power and to really start to live live life to the fullest expression of what's available in each and every moment. Um, sitting here on this beach, doing the frequency intel is so beyond what I even conceived was possible. And I'm, and I'm now living this dream. And I want to invite all of us into dream a bigger dream and start to open to well, what is actually possible if I just let go of needing to try to control everything? I mean, I'm a Virgo. I have six planets in Virgo, so I know control really well. But what I don't know is letting go of control and surrender really well. So that's one of my big, my big learnings. And that's something that I feel really called to share with whomever this material can support and benefit on your beautiful journey. Um, so the love and encouragement that I want to offer is to work with the portal of the heart, to work with the portal of the heart and to recognize that this body is, is the vehicle that our consciousness uses as a portal to travel through, to have experience. The mind, the mind, the logic is part of the physical vehicle. It is not part of your consciousness. It is not part of who you truly are. 
It is a tool that we use to help us navigate the physical 3D reality that we live in. It's not that we're, we're moving beyond the third dimensional reality, we're pulling the fifth dimensional reality into our operating systems to help us navigate this amazing planet that we live on and to create new paradigms, new structures, new support systems, new ways of governing, new ways of caring for our bodies, new ways of health, new ways of education. All of these things are possible when we connect into the fifth dimensional reality. We go beyond the bounds of the fourth dimension and expand into our intuition and knowing ourselves as a piece of consciousness. So opening to receive your own wisdom through the portal of the heart and using these practices that have come through in this frequency intel to strengthen our ability to trust, to have faith, to take leaps of faith, to go beyond the known, to dismantle illusory fear out of our Akashic field, out of our records, so that it is no longer in charge and controlling us. I could speak more into this in another transmission. I don't wanna make this frequency intel too long. Um, and I'm happy to speak more into the consciousness of illusory fear and authentic fear. If that feels aligned for you, please drop a comment and um, let me know. I'm happy to um, speak more deeply into this, this paradigm. And I'm even happy to offer a, um, a transmission to guide that practice, to guide that process of tapping into our Akashic records each individually and, and dismissing the consciousness of illusory fear out of the frequency field of our holographic field. Um, when we do this, we're going to be able to tap into our, our knowing and, and what is going to be revealed to us. This was made very clear to me by the guides this morning is we're going to be at, be tapping into our deeper soul wisdom and the overarching theme of our true mission as the soul that we are, as the consciousness that we are, what our true mission is in this time space. So maybe not a broad generalized um, or detailed, deep dive detail into all of the particulars about our mission. But the overall theme, the, the context of why we're here individually, the, our, our why, our big why, why do I do what I do? It's, it's gonna come into awareness through the portal of our intuition, through the portal of our heart consciousness. So, it feels like that's everything that wanted to be shared today. Um, thank you so much for joining me live for this Frequency Intel, and thank you for joining me for the recorded version of this Frequency Intel. I love you boundlessly, infinitely, timelessly, wholly from the, the very being that I am. I send you so much love. I send you so much courage. I send you this beautiful frequency of this magical place where I am and all of life that is here, that is, that is here for us to tap into. Um, please share this information with anyone that you think might resonate with it. I really am planting the seeds of desire to grow the reach of this material, to expand it to, I would love for this to go viral and to reach 100,000 people. There, that's my prayer. All right, my beautiful friends, thank you for joining me. I love you infinitely. Thank you, I love you. Mwah.